G'day, this is Simon at South OC Cars and Coffee. I'm with Patrick, who has this beautiful car of the week behind us. What is it, Patrick? It's a Ford Model A, 1931, a pie wagon or a C cab. Yeah, it's really cool. Check this thing out. A pie wagon or a C wagon, as you called it. Well, you can see why with that scallop out of the uh, the window over there. Why it's called a C wagon? You tell me. This thing's got some history. Yes, it was my uncle's. He had it in high school. He was in high school from '58 to '62. He's not with us anymore, so I don't know if he had it before then, but it's uh, been in his family since then at least. He had it restored to this color scheme and just like this around 2000. Yep. And he had it up in Redondo Beach and it was his surf car. He had it, all the wood restored and repainted uh, about 2000, like I said. And um, unfortunately, he, he did pass away from skin cancer. But, uh, but I've got it now and it's been driving uh, since August. It was in a garage in Torrance since 2003. And well, it's just an amazing condition, and what a great story that, it, that it's been in the family for so long. Was there a reason that it was Allison's pie wagon? Where did that come from? His name, that's his last name. Aha! Uh -huh. His last name was uh, his Rich, Rich Allison was his name. Right. And uh, on, on the Allison, on the side here in the sun, you can see he used to call this the Wild Bunch on the side of his uh, car. And you... and, but he still put a little tiny Wild Bunch right there. Let's have a look. In. Yeah, look at that. We can see that in there. That's just amazing. But, uh, and, and considering when, when it was done up, I mean, it's, clearly it was looked after while it was, you know, a garage for all of those years, and, and you've taken care of it as well. Is it the original running gear in the, in the car? Yes, uh, all that's... original. And, and I was uh, sharing with you earlier, um, my family has a farm in Australia, and it's been with the, in the family since the 1850s, and one of the first vehicles that they had on the farm was a truck version, tray version of something like this. And the story goes, it completely opened up places to be able to travel because you can now travel faster than, than you could with a horse and wagon. So my family, my great great grandfather, etc., would travel to a place called the Murray River, but they had to get over something called the Sedan Hills, which was this windy, back in those days, gravel road. Well, the old Ford couldn't get up there forwards because of the gearing, so literally they'd get to the foot of the, of the hill, everybody, including the women, would get out and walk, and, and one of them would back the, tra the truck up over the hill backwards just because the gearing was better backwards but um uh 40 horsepower they don't go very fast uh, no no it's a three speed uh, for reverse first second third and that's it and coming over here my friend jeff and i we were down to like 35 miles an hour up on one of the hills on the way here they uh, you know that's the part of that's the magic of it um can we have a look under the hood sure you know later on with cars we were looking at flathead v8s etc this is a flathead four cylinder right yes it's 40 horsepower there's my Carburetor. Yep. I had to put that back together a couple times until it finally stopped leaking. And, and really interesting, the design. Let's just think about that for a moment. So the, the carburetor is actually below the intake manifold. It's sucking air in. It's not above as it would be in a typical overhead valve motor like this. But also look at where the distributor is. It's going straight th down through the head. And those, those plug leads, because of the amount of voltage, it was hard to insulate high voltage in those days so you may see there's just brass plates that go from the top of the distributor down into the individual spark plugs there's of course a plug lead going across uh, to the coil up underneath but very very simplistic the water pump yeah water pump yep yeah. down there it's just so simple I mean the, the, the beauty of these things was people would buy these cars that have to learn to maintain it themselves that have to learn how to change the oil that have to learn how to adjust the points that have to do adjust the timing people you know these days, cars have to have warnings on them that says, you know, don't do this and don't do that. Back in this day, people would be, you know, doing everything. In later cars, they'd even have to adjust the valves. But um, what a great, great story and a great, great old car, Patrick. Well, as our Car of the Week winner, you get this Meguiar's complete kit, including the polishing sponge, cleaner wax, scratch remover, car wash, uh, glass cleaner, interior detailer, hot shine foam. Keep this pristine old Ford Pie Wagon or Sea Wagon in the condition it is. Mate, congratulations and thank you for bringing it out. Thank you.